How's it going, everybody? Today we are going to be playing some Athena. My shield stands between humanity and a vast darkness. And we are up against Chiron, which is which is cool. Uh, my Athena, I was able to last. What's, it was it was this season, but uh, on the last map, I was able to get to Masters with Athena alone, and you know, Athena is definitely one of my favorite Guardians play in, in Duel. Perish, pray I so a little bit of a disclaimer: the start I am going, I actually stole from uh, one of my viewers, Osu. Uh, I feel like I inspired him to play some Athena Duel, and then I fought his Athena, and I think his build was better than mine. So I, I, I have no problem admitting that his build was better than mine. So, but I'm yoinking it from him. But anyways, you start tier two Chronos Pennant. You want to get that cooldown right away, and we are building towards a Bumbo's Hammer late game, which is unstoppable on Athena with her reach. Now. Of course, if you've never seen Athena in Duel, you might actually think she's the worst god in Duel, but that is not the case at all. She's actually super strong now. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have an ultimate, and that's unfortunate, but she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it because she has her reach with Bumbo's Hammer, which is infinite cooldowns, and it just stacks so much with her damage. It's just really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to show this for you guys. Now, our priority is to get to late game. Uh... So we need to we need to do that. Um, I could go the safe way, but I think I'll go this way because he'll probably go straight to red. Your middle tower. Yeah, I, yeah, he went to his red. In fact, I might be able to stop him. Let's see. Some warding sigils. No, he just took it. He just took it. I think he went the safe way. Good damage to use the three and then the two. He's already half health. Whoops. Just ulted me. All right. Uh, yeah, you can ult, dude. I mean, I'm not really gonna mind. In fact, I prefer you ult now rather than when I'm low health. Oh, he's still chasing me. Right here. I wasn't expecting him to follow me all the way over here. We can get away from this pretty easily. You'll need to hit me harder than that. I'm surprised he chased me, uh, because I still got that buff anyway, so he missed out on uh, valuable time, I feel like. He's actually backing, so I can uh, clear this wave. Yeah, I feel like that was better for me than for him. Uh, one thing I recommend on Athena is around the time you hit level 6 or so, you don't want to level up the 1 quite yet. Uh, depends on the matchup, but you want to put one more point in your 2, and that is just to guarantee you can do the 3-2 combo uh, without them walking out of it. Because Athena's 3, it does a huge, huge amount of damage, but it's mostly the secondary damage that does so much. And if they walk out of it because they're not taunted long enough, you're missing out on way too much. Uh, that was weird. I still got my block stack, though. Again, don't level up the alt, though. Whenever I play Athena in Conquest or something, I always forget to level up the alt because I play her way too much in Duel. It's actually really funny. We fight. Look at me. And that is most of your health, sir. You better leave. Okay, well, he shouldn't have done that. I get, I understand wanting to ult the wave so you don't miss out on XP and gold, but by doing that, uh, by doing that, it's just so easy for me to kill him because he's already low. Okay, now we want to get, uh, this. Extra steak. And we can actually rush a poly. Uh, I have yet... This is my first time playing Athena since the boots removal. I think that that's actually super good for her. Because usually I wouldn't go poly until late game. But now I think you can rush poly. Your middle tower is under attack. And then get defense after poly. So pretty awesome. Uh, I know a lot of times I'm playing a guardian. And I say maybe I'll build a poly. And then I don't. Uh, Athena, I build a poly almost always. It's just way too good with her reach. Just way too good. 
Although I will say sometimes I don't build poly on her, but those are very specific situations. Like if my opponent goes double life steal or something like that, I have to have the anti heal to back it up. I'm kind of wasting time. I should have walked over to my blue buff earlier. Now he's ahead of me uh, in terms of clearing these buffs. Look at me. We're still gonna pick up blue buff because we have some mana issues still. Damn. He's a lot more efficient at clearing these buffs than I am. Your middle tower is under attack. That's because I kind of messed up. The wicked will not get the jump on us. It's better to put the ward in the middle of lane. Uh, right but I kind of forgot, so I just put it in the hallway to know if he comes over to stop me. We're going to put another point in our one now. Look at me. Ooh, I missed. But now his escape's down. And he can't hit an auto. Oh, I got the jukes, man. I would have used my three first, but I wasn't close enough. It's always more damage to use the three and then the two, but if you're not close enough, uh, I better just get some damage. You can blink here. He will beat it, though. Look at me. I hate when that happens because he cleared the wave and I, I missed some minions, so he actually got the better end of that fight. He got more XP and gold. Even though even though I was winning the fight, uh, it was better for him. Because there was no downside for him and he killed more minions. So sometimes prioritizing your opponent uh, does have its downsides. And now he's back. What is he building? Crusher? Could be, could be. All right, now we back. All the buffs are down. You want to play it safe? Let's see the wicked stand up to this. Got some wards. All right, let's go. Uh, probably gonna build into. We don't want breastplate of valor because then we will be overcapped on cooldown. And instead, we want emperors. I think Athena is also one of my best guardians when it comes to fighting someone if they camp. Because you can take down Tower and Phoenix really easily with the poly shots and Bumbus Hammer. Look at me. Oh, I didn't think he would try to clear the wave, but he is after all. This is kind of annoying. Hmm. Is he backing? No. Alas, he is not. Our second relic, it could be an Aegis for his all or something. Right here. Wow, my two didn't hit him. Fight. I tried to catch it that time. Uh, if he backs, there's some brutes here. Yeah, these brutes, uh, I can get a little bit of damage. These are abilities for the poly shots. Look at me. We'll wait for his relic first. That way we can counter it. In case he gets a horrific or something weird. That was bad of me, sorry. <laughs> that was not good. I'm gonna level up the two some more actually. It's pretty good against hunters. I'm right here. This guy also might die. I don't think he realizes that, though. He could have killed me. Face evil for long enough, and you will come to appreciate your arm. He could have killed me, I think, if he ulted. Um, however, if I juked his ult, he definitely would have died. Because if he ulted, I would have just turned back to make sure I get him to 1 HP and then try to juke the rest. So it's kind of one of those things. Did he recall? He came over here, but Look at me. I don't know why. I don't know what was the purpose of that. 
We now have red buff, which is super good. And once we hit level 15, we're kind of at our... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, our, our strongest point in the game. I don't want to say strongest, because our scaling is where our strongest point comes in. But, I mean, at level 15, all of our useful abilities are maxed. Oh, shoot. Right here. This is okay, because I have Kronos Pennant. Okay, we might want to blink two here. Or just use our one. Look at me. Surround them. He's dead. I just got to not die. Very nice. So late game his crusher on bluestone, assuming he goes the bluestone that gives uh what's what's the word for it? Percent health damage? That might be a little bit scary. I think for the most part we're good. I think. Uh, let's just use some abilities here. I'm just, I actually just want to back. Tower's not that important. We're going to get tower eventually. Like, just getting some poke on it's fine. Um, what I want to build here, I think, is a rod of Tehuti. I think I just want scaling at this point. He does not have a second relic yet. And I, I kind of waited in base a little too long. We, are, we might lose tower, but that's okay. Again, tower is not that important at this point in the game. Tower is really important in the early, because if you lose tower right away, then they can XP deny you super hard. Uh, most people don't do that, but if they do, and you're like four levels down, uh, there's actually nothing you can do. Uh, not on this map anyways. I will say that's probably the most annoying thing about this map is XP denying. And I mean, I XP deny too sometimes, but if I'm even with my opponent and they refuse to fight me, then I XP deny. If I'm like four levels up, I don't feel like I need to XP deny. I feel like I can just kill them. Oh, he's dealing my buff right now. Let's save our two for when he tries to run away. Oh, never mind. I'm right here. Surround them. Oh, he's in a bad spot. We can even just auto him straight up. I want to catch his two. Or we could just do this. So the reason I didn't go right up next to him is because if he hit me with his three, that would have thrown me back. And then he actually would have gotten enough distance to where he could have gotten away. So I made sure to cut off his path, make it so that I don't get hit by the three. And if he does try it, I can just taunt him out of it. But by using the two first, I mean, he ulted, so it didn't really matter. But by using the two first, uh, for that duration, he wouldn't be able to giddy up away. And I could just uh, get my three off for free. Looks like he's building into a Shogun's. Karen's coin, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of it in this uh, right now right here he still doesn't have a rug i mean i feel like when you're behind you're the one that's pressured to get a relic so i'm not pressured to get a relic Your tower is under also we are level 18 Look this is a me. crucial crucial part of the game we are level 18 we do not spend any more gold we will, the second we hit level 20 we want to back unless we're in a fight of course we want to back and buy a bumbus hammer with 2500 gold and uh, we might have a little bit extra gold, but it's better to have a little bit extra and get Bumba's Hammer right away than wait. Because uh, Bumba's Hammer, right when you get it, is probably when you can win the game. Because you're, it catches your opponent off guard, you know. You're getting your cooldowns, you're getting all this true damage. Oh, uh, where is he? I will take this, my good sir. There he is. I'm right here. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back into Phoenix, I just meant to hit him. Okay, a little bit spooky. Little bit spooky. The wicked will not get the jump on us. He just used his giddy up. Yeah, let's not fight this. Let's not fight this. I'm dying. I I wanted to get red buff, but you know, it's fine. Okay, again, don't spend any money. He still doesn't have a relic. Right 
here. We just need half a level. We fight. We're kind of timing our abilities with our poly shots too, so we're getting extra damage. Oh, if I had waited on my two, that was kind of dumb of me. Your middle tower is under attack. Was I ah, I messed up. That's okay. Your middle tower has been he was doing so little damage throughout the beginning of the game. Uh, and he was still doing very little damage in that fight, but I kind of just underestimated it. Oh, and we're so close to getting Bumbus Hammer. Oh, I'm so sad. So sad. Some silver to burn the wicked. Does he get this? Yeah, he gets this. He's a hunter. But honestly, it doesn't even matter. If I was a different guardian, this would matter. But I'm not. I'm Athena. I'm about to get Bumba's hammer. Uh, like I, I, the way I see it, on Athena with Bumba's hammer, we've already won. Now that we buy this, like seriously, there's very little our opponent can do against this. Now that we have it. Uh, we just need Power Potion as well, or Blue Buff, to uh, gain that extra 10% cooldown. To have a uh, completely full cooldown. Pretty important. Look at me. Alright, we're just back. Yeah, Corrupted Bluestone, okay. I missed one Bumba's proc. That's okay. Look at me. Surround them. We're just getting our cooldowns way too fast, man. What can you do? Honestly? Right here. We fight. What can you do at this point? Look at me. You can't stop Thena when she gets Bumpus Hammer. This is way too much cooldowns. You may have noticed I was throwing my uh, autos at minions so I could get my one faster there. Also, as he ran away. However, our weakness is uh, mana. We're losing mana super fast. We even have blue buff. Let's wait for the minions so we get a little bit more damage. Right here. Look how much damage we do with those shots. I don't even have red buff. I don't even have red buff, man. I think the only way we lose at this point is if we run out of mana. Just in this matchup specifically as Athena. Let's see the wicked stand up. Okay, he got thorns. I'm going to get... I'm just going to get Aegis, maybe. Or Sunder. Ooh, Sunder. Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. Ooh, Sunder against Cat. I actually haven't built Sunder on Athena. New, new Sunder. It actually must be really good. I You could probably start with Sunder. Ooh, I might have to do a different video where I do that. Because then you could taunt Sunder, Sunder, and then three. And it would take so much damage. Whoops. We fight. Look at me. Let's play some wards so we don't get backdoored because he is a hunter. He can kill our titan uh, before we would be able to back if I don't know it's coming. I would also love to get red buff sometime soon. This buff just spawned. I just, you know. Oh, he's taking it now. Never mind. I think he has both red buffs. That's okay. Also, Emperor's isn't the biggest of defense items, so we need to keep that in mind as well. Okay, he just ulted. Right here. Don't really know why he ulted. I mean, there's going to be another minion wave soon. Surround.
Now I have my next wave. Look at me. We fight. Huh. Right here. Getting health back from my everything. Oh, we can fight him in Fire Wave. Easy. Fire Wave does way too much damage, dude. You have made a big mistake. Fighting in Fire Minions is crazy like that. I'm healing so much with Bumbus Hammer, too. Now, I believe we can take Titan because we are Athena. A lot of uh, Guardians wouldn't be able to here, but let's see. I don't have Bancrofts, though. So maybe not. I'm ready on mana. No, we got it. We got it. GG's. And that is Athena with Bum Buzz Hammer. It's how I got to Masters uh, last split. Although I'm in Diamond right now. Uh, although if I if I played nothing but Athena, I could probably get Masters again. Like, she's, she's really good. Uh, I don't recommend playing Athena as a starter guardian. Uh, she's definitely one where you want... Ymir's the starter guardian if you want to start playing guardians in duel. Athena, I think, is a little bit later on. Uh, once you learn the play style, the build, when to engage, and all that good stuff. But yeah, good game. Scum? Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's fair. <laughs> Rely on starters. I don't know, I don't know about this, Chiron, but... I was kind of kicking your butt before I even got Bumpus Hammer. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. If your MMR speaks for itself. Yeah, my MMR is not that great, but I don't play for MMR. I just play to have fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye, everybody. Hey!